Eden. We need to talk. So I hear. What have you heard? Nothing that makes sense. <sighs> Last night you told me the truth. Let's continue with that. So, I worked for hours last night, and I couldn't even catch one fish the entire night. And then Andrew and the boys showed up. Thank you for that, by the way. And none of us could catch one fish the entire night. It was horrible. And this morning, we finally gave up, and we went to shore. But there was this teacher on shore. And Andrew knew who he was, but I'll talk about that later. He told me to cast one more time which made no sense, but I did it anyway because of the way he, he looked at me. And then so many fish showed up. They were pouring into the boat. So many kept coming that, that Zebedee ended up filling both of our boats, enough to pay off the whole debt. I... Uh, what? I know. Why don't you seem happy? Well, this is hard to explain. More than what you just told me. You no, know, it's like the story of Elijah and Elisha. Yes? Elisha was plying with 12 yoke of oxen when Elijah the prophet just walked up and threw his cloak over him, a right, calling to follow him. And without delay, Elisha slaughtered the oxen, burned the plow, and left everything behind. Yes. The, the teacher. <laughs> Andrew told me, but I didn't believe him at first. He's the Messiah. I know it sounds impossible, but I, I saw it with my own eyes. He made boatfuls of fish appear out of nowhere. And the words he spoke, the one John told Andrew was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, it was him. And then, and then he called me to follow him. And Andrew, James, and John to go where he goes and, and to learn from him. And he said that I wouldn't be a fisherman anymore, but that I would catch people instead. I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure what I saw. He's the one we've been waiting for all our lives. And I want to quit fishing and leave the sea behind to go. I know, I know, I know it makes no sense, and I knew it would make you upset. All I can tell you is that this I'm not is. Upset. Oh, why would I be upset? Come here. Come here. Come here. This is the man. Couldn't make this up. <laughs> of course, he chose you. I don't know why he did. I tried to tell him I'm a sinful man. Everyone is sinful. I don't know what this means. I don't know yet how I'm going to provide. I don't care about that. Then why are you crying? Because someone finally sees. What I've always seen. You're more than a fisherman. You know, I, I will travel sometimes. I don't want you to feel abandoned. You have to go with him. How could I feel abandoned? I feel saved. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. When have we ever had anything easy? It's not our people's way. <laughs> oh. So, are you going to help me? I actually could watch you do that all day. Wash your feet. Oh, we leave for Kana today. What's in Kana? A wedding. What does the wedding have to do with the liberation of Israel? I'm about to find out. Thomas? Talk to me. Just watch out for the frogs this time. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Sons of Jonah! We were just looking for you. They're dancing to the song of Miriam, and we thought you wouldn't want to miss it. Of course. Let's the three of us show them how it's done, huh? I don't think that's such a good idea. Why? Andrew has four left feet. Four? <laughs> Why four? When he tries to dance, he looks like a donkey walking on hot coals. <laughs> oh, Andrew, do you deny it? I've never seen a donkey walking on hot coals. Actually, that would be a terrible thing to behold. My son. Ah, Andrew, you see, even my own mother will join us in the Song of Miriam. They've run out of wine. But it's only the first day. Yes, and it's all gone. Not a drop left. Why are you telling me this? We can't let the celebration end like this. And the Etcher's family humiliated. Boys, uh, go join the others. I'll be right there. Mm. not yet come. If not now, when? Please. Do whatever he tells you. Fill these jars with water. I'm not sure you heard her clearly, but we've run out of wine, not water. These are similar in size to your amphorae. The prudent marks, yes. He could have filled all the way to the brim. You're a very responsible person, aren't you? We are in a crisis, and I was led to understand you have a solution. Do you know why jars for purification rites are made of stone? What? You heard me. Because the stone is pure. Less likely to stain or break. And it can't be made unclean. Yes. Fill these jars with water all the way to the brim. Why? You heard him. Start drawing water, quickly. Tell anyone you find to stop what they're doing and help. From the directions you have provided, I see no logical solution to the problem. It's going to be like that sometimes, Thomas. What did you say? I do not rebuke you. It's good to ask questions, to seek understanding. There's no time for this. I know of a man like you in Capernaum, always counting, always measuring. That's my job. And that people will think I have not done well tonight. Join me, and I will show you a new way to count and measure, a different way of seeing time. Go with you where? I, I don't understand. Keep watching. Once you make that first cut into the stone, it can't be undone. It sets in motion a series of choices. What used to be a shapeless block of limestone or granite begins its long journey of transformation.
and it will never be the same. I'm ready, Father. Draw some out and serve it to the master of the banquet. Vintage, sir. Good, good. Let's have a taste. Stop the music! Stop the music! Everyone, listen! I have something I would like to say. I would like to address the bridegroom and the bride families. At every wedding I've ever overseen, they serve the best wine first. And then, when the people have drunk freely, much later in the feast, they serve the poorer wine, the cheap stuff. <laughs> because by then, who is going to notice? <laughs> Am I right? But you, you have chosen now to serve the best wine I have ever tasted. Let us thank them for this unnecessary but honorable gesture. The wedding of Asher, son of Rafi and Dinah, to Sarah, daughter of Abner and Hila, be as pure and as fruitful as this wine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. To Asher and Sarah! To Asher, to Asher and Sarah! should be it for the night. What do you think of? Who is he? I can't pretend I didn't see a miracle. He gave us even more than we need. He invited me to join him. He wants us to meet him in Samaria. In 12 days. Samaria. I don't know what you think. So don't. Maybe for once in your life, don't think. 